Hey YouTube, Budget Nerd here. Figured I'd change it up a bit and do a fun video on some of the great free software that's out there. What's more budget than free, right? Free open source software, it's getting better and better. Now there are plenty of videos and web pages out there on the top 10 free software. So to make this one a little different, I wanted just to share with you the free software I use on my computer. Links to download all the software mentioned in this video are in the description and their order is based on how much I use them. My only rules are, number one, it must be free, full software, no trials. Number two, I didn't really want to include stuff everyone already knows about, like Chrome or Firefox, Google Earth, that kind of thing. And number three, it would have to uh, have been installed on my computer currently or at some point in the past. All right, so let's do this. Number 10 is Infra Recorder. Uh, it's a CD DVD burning solution for Windows. It's written in C++. First started by a man named Christian Kindall in 2006. It's pretty easy to use and you can do quite a lot with it. You can use it to copy discs, author any sort of disc you want and more. Usually, I usually use it to rip ISOs off of discs and clone CDs or DVDs. Uh, if you want more than Windows, uh, built-in options, you should get it. Number nine, the Data Lifeguard Diagnostics. This one I don't use very often, but it does come in handy from time to time. It's probably no secret at this point that I work in IT. When I'm testing a hard drive, wanting to write zeros to a drive, or checking the smart status of a drive, this tool works great. It is created by Western Digital, but it works with most other, other drives I've tried. Whenever Windows refuses to format a drive, or won't let me delete a partition or volume, this will do it, and it'll do it quickly. Apparently this software was discontinued in 2009, and it was replaced by a Cronus WD edition, which was news to me. I'll have to try that out. Number 8. AS SSD Benchmark. Do you like SSDs? Would you like to know how your SSD performs? Do you need to brag about it to restore your broken nerd street cred? Well, AS SSD Benchmark will let you do just that. It's pretty simple. Written by Alexej Shepeljansk. Nailed it. This tool will test the sequential or random read write speed without using the cache. It will write a 1 gigabyte file as well as randomly chosen 4K blocks. And then it will tell you the results. I use it to decide which SSD will go in my main rig. Number 7. Winderstat. Have you ever thought to yourself, I could really use a graphical disk usage analyzer that will present a subtree view with disk use percentage alongside a usage sorted list of file extensions that is interactively integrated with a colorful graphic display? If so, you're in luck. Winderstat is just that, and it's truly for the nerdy. This program is pretty sweet. If I used it more often, it would easily be much higher on my list. So if your hard drive is full, uh, do you want to see why? Do you want to see how much music you have or videos you have? What percentage they take up on your hard drive? This tool will let you see that, literally. Each square represents a file. The larger the square, the larger the file. Find the largest square, click on it, and Winderstat will tell you what it is and where it is. In fact, when recording the footage for this program, I realized there was a backup of a friend's data that I had on my laptop that I completely forgot about. It was taking up 56.7 gigabytes of space, so I deleted it. There's obviously more that this program does, but you'll want to make sure you're decent with computers or you could damage your system if you delete the wrong files. Number six, Handbrake. Handbrake is very handy for transcoding most any type of video file into MP4 or M4V video for most any device and most any bitrate you want. Not super techie? No worries. There are plenty of preset choices for you to use, and if you're unsure what everything does, you can just stick with the presets. It will also support batch scans and will allow the queuing of multiple encoding projects. I use it a lot. Number five. Make MKV. This will convert video that you own into a format that can be played anywhere. It will convert video clips from proprietary and usually encrypted disks into a set of MKV files, or one MKV file, 
I've been using it to back up my DVDs I own, and together with Handbrake, convert them to a digital file to stream over my network to any device in my house instantly. This only adds to my laziness. It's one of the best, truly, free options out there. But I'm told once the software comes out of beta, it might not be free anymore. So hurry, go get it. Number four, DVD shrink. Just like Make MKV, this one will allow you to take DVDs you own and copy them to a hard drive. It's a little older, but it still works well. And for any DVD that it won't do, Make MKV will get. Then one quick transcode later with Handbrake, and I can start my DVDs without having to get off the sofa. Yes, I, I have a problem. Number three, LibreOffice. Good old Office productivity software, right? You've heard of Microsoft Office, I assume? Well, what would we do without it? Well, we download LibreOffice, of course. While not quite as powerful and feature-rich as Microsoft Office out of the box, you can install more than 320 extensions to add features. Out of the box, it has everything you would actually want to use. It's been around ever since 2011 and branched off the Open Office project in 2010. So does that make them cousins? Of course, it will open and save in the familiar Microsoft Office formats and is available for most any platform. And best of all, no Clippy anywhere in sight. Number two, Lightworks. I've always enjoyed making videos. I started with Windows Movie Maker and tried many others a long time ago. Now I want a really powerful video editor that I can do more with. Enter Lightworks. It is a professional non-linear editor. In fact, Lightworks was an early developer of computer-based non-linear editing and has been around since 1989. It's free, with the only notable limit that matters to me. You can only save your videos in 720p. And it can't save natively to a DVD or Blu-ray. It's not a trial, it's their free version. Other than that, it's pretty much everything uh, the paid version is. It's got a bit of a learning curve, but I like it. It has real-time effects, advanced multicam editing, and will work with many file types. Many famous films have been edited with Lightworks, like Pulp Fiction, The Cure, Mission Impossible, L.A. Confidential, Moulin Rouge, 28 Days Later, Bruce Almighty, Revolutionary Road, Centurion, The King's Speech, and The Wolf of Wall Street, and many others. Clearly it's what I use to do these videos. I've only scratched the surface of this program, and I'm loving it. And number one, GIMP. You've probably heard of Photoshop, I assume. Well, GIMP is basically the best free alternative to that. Initially released in 1995, it has since become the free program of choice for editing, retouching, and freeform drawing and image converting. It now has a very large community of developers that are working on it, and it's pretty powerful, and there are many great tools at your disposal. This made the top of the list because I use it a bunch, and who doesn't want to edit out photos from time to time? Want to get rid of red eye, or remove blemishes? Or make a ridiculous calendar of your three-legged cat to give to your loved ones? Well, GIMP makes that easy. There is also a bit of a learning curve on this one, but well worth the time. I totally recommend it. And how about a little bonus? Here are four more honorable mentions that I use several times during my nerdy life. Ninite. It will help you install and update several programs at once. Makes keeping on top of these things much easier. Go to their website, select what you want to install or update, download the installer, and let it go. Revo Uninstaller. When Windows won't uninstall something, the installer is corrupt or you just want to make sure you get rid of everything, Revo Installer will help out. It will run the default uninstaller and then check the computer for anything that is remaining. Audacity. One of the better free audio editors out there. Heard of it? Probably have. I've used it a few times and it's pretty nice. But I usually use another program, but I figured I'd mention it. And then last, OBS Studio, which is actually the software I use today for the screen recording. What free software do you use? Check out the comments. Give a thumbs up to the ones you use. We can make an unofficial tally. As always, thanks for watching.